Hel hello and welcome back. I hope you're all feeling fantastic. Let us get to the news. Now, crude oil is at $112 a barrel. Gold's at 1884 an ounce. Silver, $22. The 10-year treasury is at 3.128%. The 30-year fixed mortgage is at 5.436%. So if you're looking for cash savings that will yield a higher return, look no further. Some banks will be offering you anywhere from 2% to 8 and up. That's what CNBC said. So according to Bankrate, the following bank institutions will be participating in that. So look for this. American Express National Bank, Barclays Bank, Capital One, CIT Bank, Colorado Federal Savings Bank, Discover Bank, Luna Savings Bank, Marcus by Goldman Sachs, Tab Bank, and Sally Mae Bank. Now let's go on to other news. We spoke about credit cards. Did you know that during the health event, people for their first year were paying their credit cards down? Kudos for them. But then they recharged them back up, which brought out uh, inflation back there and added a whopping $62 billion to outstanding debt or credit card debt, bumping it up to a whopping $1.09 trillion. That's a lot of money. Let's move on to auto loans. Consumers might have, well, consumers may, may have cut back on purchasing cars, but of those that did, they paid way more money to finance those vehicles. Now let's get to the numbers. New vehicle purchases dove by 15.8%. Let's also dig into the CPI, Consumer Price Index, where for U.S. vehicles, it climbed by 35% year over year, whereas new vehicles spiked up by 12.5%. Also, uh, auto loans reached a record-breaking $1.34 tr $1 the Federal Reserve said. On to other news. Labor shortages are evident by the 11.5 million more job openings in March 2022. So what's everybody doing? That's the word in the street. <laughs> How are they getting by? Well, thank you, Wolf of Wall Street, for that information and other information you've given me. So they say in the article there, many reasons for not returning to work. One, ongoing health issues pretty understandable. Lack of affordable daycare, another justifiable one. Quote number three, a well-documented above normal wave of retirements. Hmm. Number four, people made a lot of money from stocks, cryptos, real estate. And number at number five is new day traders. Now, I was reading an article titled, by, brought to you by Wolf of Wall Street, <laughs> a recession might just eat some of the 11.5 million job openings, labor shortages, other shortages, and not create much unemployment. Well, there was someone who commented on there, and his name was Will, and he gave us some sound advice of what he's doing with these uncertain times that we live in. So I want to go through some of that stuff and then you can go through the comprehensive of it all. He said, I slowly rebuy dividend players like Verizon with slight liquidation of the negative index ETFs. He's also stacking small amounts of cash, max 10%, no PM here, too hard to liquidate and move. He's also buying lower risk real estate He's buying lower risk real rental real estate. In 2018 or 2020, he said townhouse, townhouses in low tax areas that rent for high value to overall cost in central Pennsylvania and northern 
Maryland, I believe that is, is also looking for returns of 8% after taxes, save 5% after putting 3% aside for potential capital expenditures. And he says, I'm working seven days a week trying to bring in as much as I can while the labor market is hot. Avoid, he says, avoid owning anything that doesn't earn income unless needed. He says, rule number one, build wealth. Rule number two, use wealth to become mobile and invisible. Now, with that said, I just want to leave you with a quote by Warren Buffett that I found fantabulous. He says, I know people have a lot of money and they get testimonial dinners and um, and they get hospital wings named after them. But the truth is that nobody in the world loves them. If you get to my age, in life and nobody thinks well of you i don't care if you and i don't care how big your bank account is your life is a disaster thank you for watching happy mother's day to all those mothers that sacrificed for us god bless you all we'll see you thank you for watching subscribing liking and sharing see you in my next video bye